a traffic mess. It's all caused by the rising waters. You're looking at the Chicago Drive and Baldwin Street ramps to and from I-196, which are all closed because of flooding. 24-Hour News 8's Heather Walker is out there right now to see how this is affecting drivers. Heather? If you're heading out tonight, you're going to want to plan ahead because roads are closed across the county. Two major closures are actually have, causing cars to actually turn around here. You can see we're here at the Baldwin exit. Both Baldwin Street and Chicago Drive on and off ramp for I-196 are closed because water is on top of the roadway. They're also concerned about water underneath the bridges. They say water has never come this close. It's actually just touching the bottom of the bridges right now and they're concerned about the pressure of the water on the beams and they don't want traffic on it in case there is any erosion where the beams are hitting the earth there underneath. Now there is some uh, alternate routes for drivers tonight if you do have to come out. If you're trying to get around to Chicago Drive, um, you want to take Main Street off of Chicago Drive. That turns into Kenowa Avenue. Then take 36th Street East to Canal North back up to Chicago Drive. If you want to get back on to I-196, then you're wanna, gonna wanna take 44th Street to get back on to the highway. So once again, if you're planning to go out tonight, do plan ahead. Those um, alternate routes, we just came here and took that alternate route to get back on to I-196, took us an hour. So plan ahead tonight. Live in Jenison, Heather Walker, 24-Hour News 8.